thank you all, and thank you, Chris, for your, your kind words uh, and for your leadership. Uh, all of us uh, are, uh, are so deeply, all of us in the visiting uh, group, uh, have been absolutely blown away by what we've seen here. Le travail que vous êtes en train de faire, l'impact que vous avez, uh, le professionnalisme, l'expertise que vous démontrez uh, est extraordinaire. Et, et si ma visite peut accomplir deux choses, uh, ça va être réussi pour moi. D'abord, que vous sachiez à quel point on est reconnaissant de votre service, du temps que vous passez loin de la famille, loin de notre pays, pour avoir un impact incroyablement positif dans le monde. Et deuxièmement, si le fait que je sois ici avec euh, un peu plus d'attention de, de, médiatique, c'est justement pour souligner le travail que vous faites à tous les jours euh, pour les Canadiens et les sacrifices que vous faisiez et surtout que le, vos familles font aussi. Because for all of you here uh, not celebrating Christmases with your family, uh, there is uh, a family back home not celebrating their Christmases with you. And we need to think about the sacrifices uh, that you and your families make uh, in order to serve Canada in such an extraordinary way. And it is uh, a real privilege and a real honor to be able to uh, share a Christmas dinner with you, uh, with you all today. You know, as we talk about engaging in Canada, engaging in uh, peacekeeping operations uh, the way we are uh, once again. We think often, and you hear this from Canadians, that you know, Canada has a great history of peacekeeping. But it wasn't just because we were nice and polite. It was always because Canada had consistently demonstrated a capacity to step up and punch well above its weight class to make a significant and positive impact uh, wherever needed around the world. We did it on the trenches of World War I and the beaches of World War II. And throughout the second half of the 20th century, we demonstrated time and time again that Canada could make a significant and positive difference wherever Canadians stepped up and moved forward. And this mission has been an extraordinary opportunity for me to see come to, to fruition or a demonstration of what Canadians do best. And that is respond to very specific needs with the highest level of skill, professionalism, and service imaginable. What Task Force Mali is accomplishing here is world class. And the lessons that we are learning as we do this about what we can do when we push our own limits, but the lessons we are showing and sharing with our allies and indeed with the world about how to be more effective, how to keep people safe by having a, an extraordinary medical evacuation system and, and, uh, and logistics support at the same time, is uh, one of those ways that Canadians can know that we are always looking for the best way to help. Et la seule façon que nous pouvons faire ça, c'est à cause du professionnalisme et de l'expertise euh, de vous, les femmes et les hommes qui servent au sein des Forces armées canadiennes. We can never, as Canadians, be grateful enough to you for your service, for your sacrifice, for how you step up day in and day out to make our country um, having its full impact on the world stage. But of course, the uh, the commander was talking about the fact that this was his third uh, Christmas on deployment. This is a long tradition uh, of uh, troops celebrating Christmas. And I was uh, pointed out that back in 1943, 75 years ago, uh, almost on this date, uh, Canadians were celebrating a Christmas dinner uh, after having successfully taken Oronto in Italy. Uh, and, or, or, Orono, sorry. Orono. Ortona, there we are. Thank you. So I got, don't have notes. Uh, when we took uh, Ortona, there was an opportunity to celebrate afterwards. And that idea of coming together and pausing uh, and remembering and reflecting on why we serve and our families back home uh, is a really important thing. But of course, I wouldn't come uh, for a Christmas lunch uh, without bringing a few gifts. Uh, we brought uh, 
some Timmy's coffee, we brought some uh, near beer, uh, we brought lots of maple syrup, but mostly when I was visiting Coach's Corner earlier, I saw that we were missing uh, a significant piece of equipment that probably will get a lot of use over the coming weeks uh, and months, uh, which is uh, a proper bubble hockey table. So uh, you guys will be able to enjoy that uh, at, uh, at Coach's Corner down the way. But of course, uh, none of the gifts in the world could actually live up to how deeply grateful we and all Canadians are for you, for your stepping up, for your family's sacrifice, and mostly for your deep belief and understanding that Canada can and must help in the world. And that's exactly what you're doing. Merci beaucoup pour tout ce que vous faites. Joyeuse fête, joyeux Noël, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and uh, Happy Holidays. Merci tout le monde.